Manchester United are back in the knockout stage of the Champions League. It's been a while. It's been about three years since Manchester United last played a knockout game in this competition. And it is a massive game for Manchester United. It really could be a, a season-changing game for Manchester United because we haven't played in a knockout game for three years. This is such a massive game. And it's, it's a game that Manchester United, on paper, have got a chance of getting through. Now, I think it's a 50-50 tie. I really do. I think that both teams could go through this tie. And it's against massive opposition. They won the Spanish League last season, but they have fallen away a bit this season. And under Diego Simeone, this is probably the worst spell they've had in a long time. I mean, he has been excellent for them. He really has. They've done so well over the last few years. I mean, yes, they've started to spend money on Joao Felix and, and players like that in recent times. They've brought in the likes of Luis Suarez. So they've brought in some decent crack. There are some good players in recent times. Before that, it was more on a shoestring budget compared to the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona. And he's won a couple of league titles in Spain on, on less money than, I mean, you look at the, like, the pool that Real Madrid and Barcelona have of the crop of players. So it is a really good job what he's done there. And I know a lot of people criticise sometimes the style of play of how Diego Simeone goes about his business, but... They were, a couple of years, two or three years ago, they were an animal and such a horrible team. And no one, hardly anyone besides Cristiano Ronaldo, wanted to play against this Atletico Madrid team. They really didn't. And going into this game, Cristiano Ronaldo, we know what he's done in this fixture many, many times before. And a lot of Manchester United fans are going into this game confident, but I'm still sceptical of whether Manchester United can get through this because although we've won two games on the spin in the Premier League, and that is a better progress than previously because Manchester United were in the absolute fucking mud in recent times. And any win is, is seen for a lot of people as a turn, turn in the corner moment for Manchester United. But... I'm not, I'm not sure if Manchester United really have turned the corner yet. I would like to see Manchester United win four, five, six games in a row or beat some bigger teams before we know whether Manchester United have turned the corner. Manchester United are expected to beat the likes of Burnley, Leeds, uh, Newcastle, all these teams. And Manchester United have slipped up far too many times, got far too many tur turgid results, draws, shit results against this opposition and beating an average to below average Brighton side and a shit lead side to me doesn't really mean we've turned the corner yet. Well, I mean we have turned the corner in terms of how we were playing but this, this, these games should be easily win, win, get, win games. Three points for Manchester United any, any given time of the season and any season with the squad that Manchester United have still got because there, there has been some disgraceful performances from some of these players this season but Still, these there are some really good players in this team. And in the last few games, Bruno Fernandes and Jadon Sancho have really stepped up to the plate when Cristiano Ronaldo has been looking his age recently. He really has. I don't really blame Cristiano Ronaldo. He's 30 fucking 7, for God's sake. But could this be the moment where Cristiano Ronaldo comes back into form, back into something? We know how special this Champions League has been for Ronaldo over the last decade. It really has. Uh, the top scorer in this competition. Now, as we've talked about, they've got some really good players, the likes of Joao Felix. Maybe he hasn't lived up to the hype that a lot of people thought he would. Whether the likes of Suarez will even start this game, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I personally haven't been watching how Atletico Madrid have been playing. I've just been keeping an eye on their results in recent times. They won 3-0 last time out, but they lost to the bottom team, I think, the previous game. So they're not in the best of form. I think they lost about three games in a row at one point and they are looking like they're not going to make the Champions League this season barring a miracle they've fallen behind Barcelona who Barcelona aren't exactly been great this season themselves but they're starting to pick themselves up a little bit now so it does look like Atletico Madrid might not make the Champions League this time around but as I say this is a winnable game for Manchester United they're letting a lot more goals in they didn't give a lot away in previous seasons under Diego Simeone Maybe it will be time for him to move on to pastures new in the coming season or seasons to come because he's done fantastically well, as we say there. But at some point in time, as managers, as we know, do eventually move on. He's been there a very long time now. 
So how are Manchester United going to go about beating this Atletico Madrid team? As I say, I think it's a 50-50 tie for Manchester United. I don't really see a favourites out of these two myself. I think Manchester United have the better team, but whether we are the, on the day, on the given day, better than Atletico Madrid, it will be remain to be seen. Uh, you would expect this this Manchester United group of players to 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 beat them on paper. Uh, in, personally, this Atletico Madrid side, but the way Manchester United have been playing, apart from these last couple of games, has been really poor. And as although people are saying this is a poor Spanish league, they're a poor Spanish side, so that's why Manchester United should be winning it. We should have beaten Middlesbrough, we should have beaten these teams, and we haven't done that. We should have beaten Newcastle, we should have beat Burnley, we should have beat these teams, and we're not doing it. So, anyway, what, how are Manchester United going to go about beat? How are Manchester United going to line up to try and beat them? Well. I don't think there's going to be too many changes because the squad is very thin on the ground at the moment. Without no Mason Greenwood who's suspended from the club and without no Cavani still out injured, it does leave Manchester United to options on the bench a bit thin. It really does. So there's not going to be, probably be too many changes to the team. I think he's going to go with a similar defence to what he put out in the previous game against Leeds. To hell being goal, Shaw, a left back. I reckon he's going to bring Delo back in at right back. And I think he's going to go for the same two centre-backs, Maguire and Lindelof. I thought Lindelof was very good against Leeds. And Slabbed, uh, Maguire got himself a goal. So I don't think he's going to change that, to be honest. Varane was out for, a couple of, for, was out for the previous game and that. So I don't think he's going to change that there. I think he's going to bring Fred back in, into the team. He brought Fred on and he scored a nice goal in that previous game. He hasn't played bad on the actually, Fred, so I think he'll probably come back in. And I think he'll put Pogba and Fernandes in there as well. He may he, when he may go with McTominay in there, I don't know, but Pogba was good till he went off in that game, but it was a great decision bringing Fred on because he ended up getting the, the, the goal that was decisive in order for Manchester United to win. Uh, the, forward, the forward line is probably going to pick itself now with Alanga coming into the team uh, on, off the bench against Leeds, missing a sitter but then redeeming himself by scoring later on, which is always good. If you miss a chance, you've got to then go out there and put the next one away and that's what he did. I'm still, I'm, I'm not convinced if he's the, the man to take Manchester United back to the top of English football and European football playing out there on the wing, but still a decent squad player, Alanga, and probably deserved the chance to play on that wing uh, with Sancho on the other side and Cristiano Ronaldo up front because Rashford's not hacking it, Lingard's not hacking it at this moment, and as we say, we know Mason Greenwood, the options on the wing are limited there. So, I mean, this, get, this, this tie could could go any any given way, it really could. It could be a win, draw, lose for either either side in this fixture, it really could. But away from home, it is always difficult to go away from home in the Champions League and get victory. But Manchester United have been poor at home and, uh, and, and away this season. We've not really been consistent either home or away. So, uh, how Manchester United are going to go in this game, I just do not know. I really don't, to be honest. I, I, nothing will surprise me in this game. It really won't. But I'm going to put my neck on the line and say it's, say that Manchester United come away from from Madrid with a draw, and I would take a draw out of this game. I would, and then get the chance to to play them at Old Trafford under the floodlights at Old Trafford. It, the the place will be rocking, and hopefully Manchester United beat them beat them there. I'm going to go one one. There is no away goals in this, so it doesn't matter if it's nil nil one one. 2-2, Manchester United get the draw, I'll be, I'll be fairly content with that and then hopefully Manchester United can make a game of it at Old Trafford and, and win the game there. I'm not as confident as, as some people going into this because I do know Manchester United's flaws. Certainly at the back, Manchester United have been ropey and have given away too many, uh, have let too many leads slip in recent times but I'm, I'm still confident that Manchester United can maybe, maybe get through this tie but there's going to be a bigger test to come if Manchester United can even get through this to get any further. I don't see Manchester United getting much further after this, but we will have to wait and see. But we've got to be confident because this is why we love the beautiful game of football. I mean, a number of teams over the years have, have got through ties and have got to semi-finals and even won this fucking competition without being nowhere near the best team in it. So who knows who's going to get get through and win it. We just can, can assume that Manchester United are not one of the favourites to win it, but you do never know in football. Anyway, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, smash the share button if you're watching on Facebook, and I'll be back again soon. Talk to you all again soon. See ya.